All right, so this is another pretty cool grab from the USA. Yeah, there's one shop in Kansas City. I'm sorry, guys. I what was the name of it again? I can't really remember. But anyway, cool shop, good deal. And I saw this in mint condition, O ring 1986, low light from GI Joe. Yo, Joe. So, Lola, what do we know about him? He is a night spotter. What is a night spotter, Samantha? Someone... So, he, like, patrols in, like, the night? Yeah, he, you know, does that. Uh, a little bit of background about Lola. He used to be scared of the dark when he was a kid. He got lost in the woods in the impenetrable darkness, as they call it. They found him as a child with a rifle in his hand, grinning, and they knew that he was ready for the military. He's like Batman almost. Like he, he's kind of lonely. He's a, he, loner. he's a he is a loner, very reclusive individual, but still very caring. Um, and he overcame his fears of the dark. There was a great GI Joe episode with the dream sequence, and those GI Joe fans will know which one I'm talking about. I'll show it to you later on tonight, Samantha. So, anyway, we're using multiple weapons here from other action figures. He only came with a backpack, but. This actually works. It looks pretty cool. So he's very poseable. O rings are amazing. Honestly, I have he has so many O rings. I, I I have a lot of fun filming O rings. They're the, you know they're just simple and sweet. Simple and, and they're sweet. They're actually qu they're bent. They movable. And they're detailed. Like all O ring GI Joes always have like a knife or a gun or some kind of pouch on the side of them. They compact details into that. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look, it looks like they fabulous. Like, the they actually add there. details to the things on his legs. They don't just slap it on and make it block. Exactly. And there's his backpack. So when he's doing his night spotter um, infantry, you know, he's there prepared with his rations and his weaponry. So Whatever else he needs. Yeah, whatever else he needs as being part of the military. So, anyway, that's low light in a nutshell. I think he looks outstanding. He looks cool. Love the red goggles. Love the toque. It looks great. The grenades on him. Again, 1982 to 1987, G.I. Joes were the best Joes made. I mean, some other ones were made afterwards, but anyway, I give this a 10 out of 10. I would also give this a 10 out of 10. O-Rings knows how to do it right. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Also, comment down below what you think of this O-Ring. Yo. Joe.